<clears throat> Welcome back to the Wolf Among Us. We are doing episode four in sheep's clothing. That is so bad. Okay, now that's super painful. Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's 
finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. With what? Your hooves? Could I get some quiet in here? Yes, that would be helpful. Sorry. not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder him. It was a split-second decision, and I don't care how it looked. I'd make it again and twice on Sunday. All right. I'm following you. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Snow. For all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb. We're all mad about it, Colin. But it's not like we had a strong choice in the matter. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witch in town. Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. 
So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? This is about those girls, and it'll always be about those girls. Nothing will change them. We'll see. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. A little restraint and thought behind things will never hurt anyone, Carl. Yeah, wait, what do you mean? What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. Oh, great. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter. Sure you are. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. Just let that side of you be done, okay? Be done and buried and we can all move on. I'll do better. We'll do better. We have to be better than them, or what's the point? Right, exactly. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry that I have to bring all this up, but I think it's important. Look, Bibi, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give them a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Big B. Don't be such a dick club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this is situation. Has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Carl. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Monday does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. They know what a pig is. It's not the end of the world. Snow says that's the way it's gotta be. That's the way it's gotta be. What? Are you kidding me? If you would simply get a glam. Get a glam? With what money? You think I can work? I don't even have thumbs. Wolf's residence. That's right. Buffkin, what is it? <laughs> okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Nerissa. Nerissa? That rod from the wooden and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Big B's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. Something about she knows you knows something. Really to attract something I'm off to a flame. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Marissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it. I still hang out here, right? Look, maybe a few will get set up, but you're my friend, Colin. Wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, man.
Yes? Great. Oh, I'm playing right now. Hi, Sheriff. Well, I called Mama. She's gonna cook a white rice. Alright. In the sink? Refrigerator. I'll check. Um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. Mm -hmm. like if I came by. Let's just say I didn't matter. I haven't checked up on her. Fine. Okay. I'll see you later. You can start talking. There's not a lot that I can talk about. Bye. You know that. So that spell yes. ring was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work. It's 
Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Please. Don't. Okay. I get it. So the ribbons... If you can take them off... of something we all know. If you have to, just don't tell anyone else. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. They've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Wait, you don't have to go. <clears throat> that was abrupt. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or...? It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the crooked man? Or do you think they just heard about last night, and they're scared about what's been going on? Well, whatever it is, I'm sure they called for a reason. Suppose I better go check it out. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... She said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. <laughs> Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Somehow, I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had 
to hear about it all night long from her. not get into busting down doors today, all right? It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Jersey Devil. Oh, yeah. That slimy prick. 
I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's in hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of remarkable skills. Sometimes, fables just don't have anywhere else to go. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Tried to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. Not this time. Lucky pawn. If I can't track down the crooked man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And. You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. We're decent people, Bigby. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the crooked man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. He never seems to be heading to the same place. But it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. It's the only thing I've been able to pick up, but it's still not. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's up to me to take care of her. So you do their dirty work. Look the other way. Work is work. All I do is deliver stuff. I just wanted to provide for Beauty, give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. No. Probably not. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from.
Yeah, put that out. Smoking's bad for your lungs. Doing my job, Johan. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, you got to kill me. You're gonna kill me. So much. You're just gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Things I do. What are you hiding behind that door? Huh? Please, please, bring me. Please don't. Take me. What happened to Sheriff? Please, don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please, please don't kill me. Please, don't kill me. Listen, just calm the fuck down, okay? Just want some answers. Okay. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you can keep your life and lose your shot, or lose both. What would you do? It was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy, even when they got down a hook in the deep freeze. But it's a hard one to live with. Hey, you mean Mary? Buddy Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. 
That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. The Crooked Man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, Mentally Case Bloody Mary. You want to talk about the real butcher? It's her, not me. This is her place. Tell you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. And, and I don't want to know. I'm not allowed to know. It's all right. I believe you. Calm down. I knew this would happen. In no way, there would be the day. Mm. Big B Wolf would walk through my door. And I'd mm. Is his place? I told you, Bigby. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Morning lights. This business. It's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. These lights, y'all. Did you warn them I was here? I had to. You come in here making trouble for me. But you won't give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. I needed your help. Well, I'm here now. I'm gonna sort this all out. This is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-Bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Jeez. Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has on a joke. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other raw witches out there probably get their supplies here. Don't you see what's going on here? these raw materials. Looks like he could process them into just about any kind of magic. He's got all he needs. A year. Slave labor to work in. So these must be the orders. Well, I'll be... He's got his hooks into everybody. It's pretty clear now. Yeah? Oh. Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. Things that must have gone on. It's the pudding and pie groups with the ribbons. Whoever he's got in here in these chains, he's he's enslaving fables. My watch. That's awful. Just know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. Fucker Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? What the 
this all... I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important. Why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's gotten some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. Leave me alone. Yeah. With stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Can't you just vaporize anyone who gives you trouble? Do it right from your living room. Smoking cigarettes with your feet up. It's fucking broken. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. Probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on the important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. Now the shard. The lucky pawn. They probably took Crane there, too. The lucky pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. Hey, hold on. Well, real happily found what you're looking for, Bigby. What about me? Do you yes. really think this is going to be all oh, my God? All the stuff in here, I do know of. That's his icon. His symbol. What kind of a guy uses a torture device as his icon? The, the kind of guy who isn't going to be understanding about Big B Wolf showing himself in. So tell me this. What am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my hand. There's no way to get out of this. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Be some kind of protection. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. 